Hey everybody, you remember that rusty crank? On how bad that was and blah blah blah? Um, there it is. That versus that. And unfortunately, unfortunately it might have been totally done in waste. Because, um, there's some numbers there. I'm having a hard time reading it. It almost looks like it says rods are 40, mains are 40, D2753, um, I've never heard of 40 under bearings. So, <laughs> oh my, the lens is dirty today. <sighs> um, yeah, I might have cleaned that crank for nothing, but it's uh, research, and uh, check this out. Look at that. Look at that. that stuff was new yesterday. Look at this chain. It looks brand new. It looks brand new again. I got that 400 crank in there cleaning now. So, we'll see. Now I found out that's a 307, 327 crank. It's partially clean. Hopefully it hasn't been turned. So, yeah. Oh, hey, wait. Where's the wife stuff? Well, I want to take this long. And have him see if this crank will polish or not. If not, this could be a lampshade or something. Ugh. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. I got some stuff here. Okay, I'll put this one. There. All right. Yep, got the wife stuff. Oh, almost forgot a box. Almost forgot a box. Oh. All right, I gotta fix my door. Okay, that stuff's loaded up. Got three cranks ahead. And the block, pistons, and the valve parts. So I can get some stuff done. Uh, I could I show you the machine shop, but uh, yeah, I don't think they let anybody in there with cameras. That's okay. Well, the snow's melting some. It's getting better. I had a helper come lift, help me lift the block today because uh, the kidney area and. Oh, the right side's not feeling right. <laughs> so, anyway, I guess get this stuff to the machine shop and we'll be back. I can tell you right now, my truck needs shocks. Holy moly. Or the state needs to fix this road. Finally got my lunch ate. <laughs> Took my insulin like, um,. Five hours ago and then just now finally ate. Oops. Um, well that steel crank. It was. It's 4040. I didn't know they made 40 under bearings. He's gonna polish it and see if it cleans up. Let's see what it is. He says it's asking a lot. He says it make a good street motor. He says I wouldn't probably put it in a race car, but um, did not know you could go 4040. Kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, so there might be hope for that little steel crank yet. Might be maybe you put that in a little street machine of some kind. But uh, yep, all the stuff's dropped off, and hopefully Thursday and be picking the stuff up. And, uh, 
from here. And then Ford, oh yeah, we gotta get ready to do that Ford motor too. I can just think in some stuff because yeah, I need to put some more of the Ford parts out in the Ford truck, so but not in my way anymore. Because I gotta get garbage out. I haven't taken garbage out, it's starting to stack up. But uh Yep, he's gonna fit the pistons. I told him he can swap, they're all made sure the same. I said pretty much. We're at a 428 one or three so it's like dang I said, yeah they were made back in 1991 so alrighty well get back to the farm and start uh, getting stuff going I got a 400 crank soaking right now so we'll see how that one's coming out all right okay we got a crankshaft uh, it's a little more important than this one here I'm trying to get cleaned up. So I've gotten a little ingenious. Put a water bottle underneath and weight that down and hold it so it raises the fluid level. Then I can get about half the crank done. Uh, and I just learned something today too. I did not know you could go 40-40 with bearings and have the motor live. But like he says, he'd be a little scared in a race car. If it was a street machine, that'd be different. But uh be interesting if that thing polishes up and it's okay. Be great. If not, it'll be a wall decoration or something. Or turn it into a lamp. <laughs> oh. Wouldn't that be something to have a drill bit that drill straight down through that to run a power cord up through it that'd be interesting but uh, I gotta look up some parts for the kids cars they're getting their tax return so it's time I'm gonna have so much work coming out once this weather gets nice I really need to figure out how to get the stuff from North Carolina and get an addition with a hoist so I got three vehicles fixed for the kids. Oh, the Tahoe, that just needs a dry shaft and then that'll be done. Dry shaft and a battery. Uh, and 95 Grand Prix and a 2001 Pontiac Bonneville. Yeah, so I gotta go start pricing out parts. I'm gonna go to my favorite website. And boy, whoever sent the heat, thank you. The snow is melting. It was up to 45 and it's dropping to 41 already, but it's melting. It's finally melting. So, alrighty. Well, I'll bring you guys along. I haven't finished cleaning this one yet. Don't know if I really will. Well, I probably will since I'm this far with it. But, uh, I've been messing with this stuff and it's working. It's, it really works. I've got an idea for a container. So no. There must be a little bit of molasses in this or something. Oh wow. Deepers creepers, this is crazy. Huh. This sure don't help the headache, but this glove I soaked. Yep, you just touch it and it comes right the rest of the way off. See all this rust here? That's what the front half of this crank looked like. And Oh. 
Now the brake level up. I had to get a little ingenious with this, and it's worked. Hopefully, after Wednesday, I'll have more of this stuff. Is that far enough? No, it's not. I gotta go a little deeper this time. Oops. The pail works fairly good, but not good enough. So, I've just been using these bottles. Stick them down in there. And okay. Ah, oh, just a little bit more. Need about an inch more. Let's see if I come on. Genius about holding this down. This time I think I'm going to need two pistons on there. I just need about an inch more and we'll be good. Oh, yeah, where's that can? Aha! That will get it good enough. What little bit I miss, if we don't get it from the polish of the crank, if it can stay standard, we'll get it. I just use the gloves because I've got enough troubles with my hands, but uh, that 400 crank earlier today, you couldn't see any of that. Oh, yes. So I'm going to find or whatever uh, a tank about 32 inches long and a foot by foot. So I can lay a crank down in it and dunk it. And then I'm going to find a bigger one because I want to get my hands on more of this stuff. Then we're going to dunk those blocks over there. That one block's a 1972 352 bolt main out of a Camaro. So yes, that looks good. I mean, what the crankshaft looks like. I mean, that looks polishable. It'd be sweet if it is. And prior to this stuff, I would have passed it by. I wouldn't have even thought about using it. So, so once that's clean, it's like right here. Yeah, you guys are yeah, great. You just brush on it a little bit. What little bit's there? It just cleans right off. <laughs> even, and I had a buddy here earlier. Oh, my hair just, I just need to cut it off, don't I? Uh, I showed him that stuff and I showed him the chains I got in there taking up space. The one chain looks like a brand new chain now. It has cleaned it that well. But I got a set of heads that have got the valve stuck in them. I'm gonna maybe that's what I'll start tonight. I'll let this sit. Let's see, I did that. I put that in there. I put that in there at about noon. So I've let it go six hours and it probably was done earlier. I just kind of forgot about it. 
Uh, and the amount of rust is going to dictate how long you leave it in there. Like this 307, 327 crank, that could sit in there for another day or two. It ain't going to hurt it. But like I said, I get this. I guess I'd like to have that clean tonight. Then I'll throw it in the hot tank, wash it, and have it ready to go with me to the machine shop to see if it'll polish and stay standard. And uh, if it does, then I've got a good, another good 400 crank to use. It's just amazing how this stuff is working. I just... It's... So, uh, I'm waiting for Tuesday to get here. Then the internet's going to be parts are going to be. I got parts come going to have parts coming here, there, and everywhere else. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, hopefully, I gotta go to the doctor tomorrow. But like, I got a block here. It's got a lot of surface rust on it. I would like to see what it looks like after. Uh, so yeah, I'm. I don't know. I guess why I'm kind of thinking a plastic tank is so this stuff doesn't keep working on the tank it's in. And like uh, that, sixty over three twenty-seven. I would even dunk that and rewash it, then put that one together. Because it's just got little spots of rust here and there. And so, I mean, dunking something versus sitting there with a wire brush and you're breathing it and you're wearing it versus just putting it in and wash it and then I throw it in the hot tank, wash it. It's done. That steel crank turned out, after it came out of the hot tank, it really looked good. Other than the fact that it's 40-40 and uh, I talked to a couple other machine shop guys that are, that are on the t channel here and told them about that crank. They said, don't stick it in the race car. I said, no, it would be good for a street car. Figure out what year the crank is. It would be good for, for somebody restoring a car, I guess. I don't know. You just got to find those people, though. But I see a cat. This cast crank. I mean, it wasn't as rusty as this cast crank, but that cast crank hasn't turned as black. That's what this one did. But I still got a lot more soaking to do on that one. But like I said, that's kind of since I now know that's an old 307, 327 cast crank. Um, not too really worried about that. I'll get it cleaned up, and hopefully, I don't find out it's been turned already like the other one. <clears throat> so yeah until you get the rust off and you find numbers it, you do take a 50 50 chance on having another piece of junk and technically that 40 over crank is junk i but i don't know if i end up keeping that get to keep that one or whatever i mean who knows but the machine shop guy was really impressed with that because I showed him a picture of what it looked like before and then told him this is what it is now. He's like, you're kidding me. I said, no, that stuff works. So, I know I'm getting this slop all over the floor, but like I said, when it gets warm, I've got a power washer. I'm opening the door, moving stuff out of the way. I'm going to pour water and uh, soap on the floor, soap this place up good. And then power wash it out the door. Clean it up. But, uh, yeah. And I told my one friend on how I've rethought that motor over there. I'm gonna, since it's bored, it's small, literally small. Uh, the pistons I'm going to get for that hopefully will measure like 428, like they're supposed to or should. If that's the case, and I can take that one up and have them hone it. So right now I ain't going to have my own, my own hone until, I don't know. Got money coming in, but it's going out for parts to try and make more money to finally get the stuff here. Vicious circle. Vicious circle. 
And I got a set of heads here that are cracked from the steam hole to the center head bolt hole. And I've come across, I don't know, uh, I've heard of guys taking, they've oversized a hole and put a liner in it, Loctite it or lock, put a liner in it to reseal it and uh, run them. I mean, it would be great because they had a lot of work at them, but uh, I don't know. Don't know. Only one way to find out, huh? So yeah, uh, when I had Buddy here helping me move stuff, I should have had him move, help me move that one. But uh, I, don't know, I got a few more things I got to get run through the acid tank, acid the caustic wash, and then uh, we can uh, do the other. Oh, and then the Ford Motor's going to come back in all this here pretty soon, and within about a week. <laughs> Which, I, I really hope I remember how to put that <laughs> stupid truck back together. Holy moly. That's where I will wish I had the big work table in here so I could lay every bolt out on it, figure out, and do 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 do. Because once I do that, then I'm doing pretty good, but... Right now, I don't have a big enough table to lay out all the bolts to that motor. <sighs> yep, that's what I thought. Just rub on it a little bit. So, yeah, put a little bit right there. Take and hit that with a simple green purple power. Throw it in the hot tank and wash it up and it, it, it's looking promising for just a polish so that would be sweet kinda excited I mean it really changes some of this rusty stuff I got a set of heads back there that are rust buckets and now I will dunk those and get them cleaned up before I take them in because like I said I don't have the those will probably need guides I guide work and surfacing I still have to take the heads in but after the guides are in and the surfacing is done I can finish the heads after that once I get that equipment from South North Carolina so <sighs> Now I know I got some video that I you did yesterday. I don't know. I might add that to the end of this video. I don't know. But yeah, definitely. I guess I need to. If I added on the shop, I need to add a washroom or a room like this where the hot tank and this dip stuff could be in that room on its own floor with its own drain and. Uh, So I ain't making a mess in the middle of where I work. So. Which means I got another crankshaft sitting over there that's got slight surface rust on it. I could dunk it and then take that one in and see. This is just making it. it this is just changing a lot of what I can do. Now, it's got an ultimate test. I got some old pistons that were given to me. Put them in there. I don't know what it'll do to the aluminum. That will be a research thing. Put those pistons and rods in there and see if they free up and clean up the rods. And then, if they do, <laughs> that would be great. Uh, 
I got up late today, real late. It was after 10 o'clock this morning when I finally was able to get out of bed. I had the sweats this morning. I my kidney area and the back hurt. And I've just not... Like I said, I ate my lunch late. And it's not kind of set too well either. But, uh... Yeah, it's just... Then I had to check another set of pistons that ended up there cracked. It's just... It's kind of crazy on how things are finally taking shape and happening around here. Oh! I got a 350 that is supposed to be standard board that has a set of 487X heads and that came off that motor. That's stuffed back in the corner. They got surface rust because they were cleaned at the machine shop and nobody ever came back to pick up that motor and they tore the machine shop down and this guy bought that stuff. There again, I can soak those 487 heads. I think the guys were already replaced in them. Soak them, clean them, wash them up. And then there's a set of heads I could put valves in and clean that block. And that's another motor I could put together. And hopefully the VIN number stuff is still on the front of the block. We'll figure out what that came out of. If it was out of something special. And then we could uh, market it. Hey, this is a replacement motor for such and such vehicle. Um. Oh, shit. Well, I get done here with that stuff up there this week and get these other parts coming. I got another set of heads that I can take in and have done up. So I just think it's sitting here thinking all the wire brushes and all the drills and tore up fingers and the hours we wasted cleaning rust off stuff to run motors years ago. There's a lot of the stuff I got, I drug home from the junkyard and rebuilt and turned in into the race motor. And now here, just dunk it, wash it. Hey, it's ready to use. It's crazy. It's just... And I noticed they do not say what's in this stuff on the container. There is no material info. So when I held the chains up, I know it's got a soap in it. And if you uh, throw and splash it around enough, it will foam up. And, uh, wow. Well, just the time that we've talked, the one spot I was having trouble getting it up on is brushing off already. So light rust won't take much. Uh, it's just crazy. <laughs> it's just, just crazy on how this is working. Uh, I'm kind of... I don't know. I, I don't know what I want to say. I just... It's kind of uh, strange that things are finally happening and getting getting us going again. And uh, I got some chains hanging over there that I like carrying in the vehicle. I should dunk them, wash them, and uh, throw them in the truck. Crazy. So yeah, I've already got one, one pair, two pair, three pair of heads to soak, two, maybe two more cranks, yep, two more cranks, 
and then uh, one, two, th three blocks to dip. Which, if these come clean and this works, I know I'll know where there's a 400 that is all a rust bucket that I can dip and gain another 400 block. Plus, the guy's got some cranks that were looking just as bad as what I cleaned. He says, I'm glad I didn't throw them away now. So, yeah. Lots of things. Lots of things coming forward. But the other thing is, I gotta get done dipping this stuff so I can get cleaned up in here. So when Mama Bear decides to come out here, we're ready for her. And... Yeah. I guess I don't really know much more else for today. I'm just excited about how things are cleaning up and that. I guess I, I wouldn't mind having a 50 gallon. Oh, my neighbor said something about having a plastic barrel. If he's got that plastic barrel, I think that's what I want to do is get that from him. And it was a heavy duty plastic barrel. And we'll rig that up to dunk blocks in. Or if I got that barrel full of the fluid, rig up a thing that I can hang off the cherry picker and uh, we could uh, dunk multiple cranks at once. Or heads or something. I mean, this is just really opened up a lot of things. Oh, wait, I got. Uh, Two blocks over there that need to be dunked. They cleaned up, but there's so much surface rust in the inside. You have to send it off to a shot blaster where they heat it, then they put it in the shot blast cabinet. But when you do that, then you got to line bore them, then you got to do the cam bores, you got to figure out the lifter bores again and deck them. So if you got a block that's good and straight and you don't want to do that, dunking it will be the way they do it, then wash it up and put her together. So, I guess. The mine's going a mile a minute. Uh, you get, I'm thinking all the stuff I can clean with this stuff and do. Uh, <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah. And I think of all the stuff I threw away because it was too rusty to clean. It wasn't worth your time. And now here we can do that. And Anyway, I guess I'm bad one. So see y'all later. Stay tuned. We got some fun builds coming up. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Look at this. We got, it's bright. It's sunny. It's clear skies. But there's snow on the ground. Shame there used to be a nice farm place there. They tore it out. Uh, a lot of us are waking up to a beautiful day. I kind of talk about a friend of ours. One of our fellow YouTubers. It was either last Sunday or the Sunday before, I can't remember. I think it was last Sunday. Anyway, within the last week, two weeks, one of our YouTube members, Carl G, uh, he's usually in the live shows with us now. I think it was two Sunday. I would think it was last Sunday. Anyway, I noticed one night he didn't show up for the Sunday night um, live show. Didn't think nothing too much about it. I mean, he's missed him before. Well, about midnight, 12.30, my time, he finally contacted me. That Sunday, he says, we dang near didn't get out of the house. They were cooking lunch. Something went wrong, and the house went up in flames. Uh, I think it's been two weeks, because now he's, he's fighting with the insurance company right now. Uh, he gave me some more info last night. They are only wanting to pay him 10 cents on the dollar for his house. I'm like, what? That. <laughs> and he had insurance. That's the. And he's up in Canada. 
not that that makes a difference, but so yeah, they've lost everything except for his shop. But uh, they have nowhere to live. They're living out of a motel right now. Uh, insurance isn't paying for that. It's coming out of their own pocket. Uh, this poor guy's had a hell of a year. He's lost his mom. He had to put his dog down. And now they've lost their house. And <laughs> I don't know what else to do for the guy besides pray for him. And uh, that. But yeah, Carl, so that means, uh, Terry, if you're watching, our stock car, old stock car magazines he was going to send us, they've burned up. I don't know, I'd, I'd love to do a fundraiser for him and that, but I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Uh, his problems make our problems seem a little minor, but... Uh, he thought every, was, everything was going to be okay with the insurance, and now they only want to pay 10 cents on the dollar. I'm like, that shouldn't even... that. And he says everything's gone. He said he's going to try and get me pictures of it today. If he gets pictures of it to me, I'll show you guys. But... I, I had, he's one that sent me a video camera, and they had some nice stuff. He had a beautiful... Computer, or computer, a piano. Uh, he wrote me, right? Loves music and that. It, it just. Uh, they just have nothing now. So. I guess. Um, I know tonight's live show, by the time you guys see this. Live show has probably already happened, but uh, we're going to kind of talk about it on the live show too, or we did talk about it on the live show. Just, just giving more details of what happened. So, uh, yeah, he gave me the permission to tell you guys about it. I, that's why I hadn't said anything, and I didn't want to bring it up because you know that. <laughs> That's a that's kind of a hard thing to go through. I, I couldn't imagine going through that. So but anyway, uh, we're heading off to get some more vapor rust and do a couple other things while we're gone. And it's a Sunday with the sun. The sun's shining, and I really hope it decides to warm up in this area because. This cold is getting to me. I told the wife this morning too that I'm gonna have to call the doctor. I've been trying to ignore it. <clears throat> but my right side, I don't have any signs of kidney stones, no blood or no nothing like that, or no drop dead pain. But uh, the right side has been hurting for over a week. I just been trying to ignore it because I can get it to come and go and I don't know what the heck's going on there but this morning I got up oh my it was bad so anyway yep we're off to go to a swap meet I haven't done that in years and it's one of the old places I used to go so figured why I was in Sioux City I'd do two things at once so Anyhow, oh, I'm sorry about for the lack of videos. I, I wasn't feeling good, people. I got sick and things just did not go right and it kind of messed, messed me up pretty good. So, anyway, we'll be back. Okay, yeah, that's record. And I'm also going to put this out there, too. I mean, if you guys are missing me that much, Give me, uh, hit the like button. Uh, make a comment. I mean, the uh, likes have kind of dried up. The comments have kind of dried up. And I just kind of got started feeling like uh, nobody really cared if I was here or not. I mean, 
and I respond to comments but never get any any hint that anybody's ever read any of the com comments I've responded to or nothing. I it just I enjoy the interaction with you guys and we had a good run there for a while and I, I just so I guess let me know by hitting the like button or leaving me a comment just say hi or here or something just let me know you guys are there I don't know if it's YouTube or if it's just what and I'm like, boy, if, if this, this is all it's going to be, I, I, I'm starting to kind of rethink YouTube. But I know I got a few that do miss me. <laughs> Found that out here, which is good. I just, I guess, uh, everybody's worried about making money on YouTube instead of keeping the channels that we got going. So, just a little my thought so just kind of like to, to have the acknowledgement that either you've seen my responses back or or if YouTube's blocking it or just trying to figure it out so all right <laughs> got that on the background but I'm back and we stopped at Harbor Freight got me some uh, twist lock I know I got some around here, but do you think I can find them? No. Found these at the swap meet. Some th three nice long uh, carbide cutters. Then I finally picked up some uh, center point. Center point counter sinks. And then found these at the swap meet too. Guy says, yeah, they're made for steel. I don't know how they'll work on cast. Well, cast iron, depending on what kind of cast iron you're dealing with, uh, a little nicer to work with than steel. So, picked up those few things. And I've got to get my tablet plugged in and we're ready to go. And now i got these long ones here. Uh, I'm glad I hadn't done that rear main cap yet for the oil passage. I'll use these so test them out see if they were worth a darn I mean when you buy three of them for 40 bucks who knows what you're getting but uh, yeah and then I got a I think I said that the tablet charged up so anyway uh, then I got some more parts to measure and inspect and make sure they're going to be usable for something and uh, we got some more stuff going in the works with the California, or California, the Carolina deal. So, yeah, this is getting interesting. <laughs> so, anyway, I better get that tablet charger so I can do the live show tonight. But by the time you've seen this, the live show has already happened. So, alright, 